<laughs> Hello in YouTube land. Armando here, firing my, uh, well, these guns here that the, I gave to my G.I. Joes. Like this is an old West style gun. This is a little bit more modern. Not really. I mean, how many rifles do you see that have a revolver barrel chamber like that? I've never seen one. It's like a pistol that's a rifle. Anyway, look, there's a shotgun right there on that one with the Athlon Blue. Well, um, I was at uh, Big Lots uh, recently. I forgot what, when it was, but I found this. Da, 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 da. Look, it's uh, right there. Look, see? 1.6 six, one six scale action figure. Look. Over 30 articulated points. 12 inch, 30.5 centimeter, fully posable action figure. Authentic, highly detailed uniform and accessories. Now, let me move the camera up here. Okay. You see that guy there? Look. World Peacekeepers. Oh, look, look at that. Only thirteen dollars at Big Lots. I wish uh, Walmart would carry these. You know, at, at a, a long time ago, they used to carry this line. Now, let's look at the bottom here. You see that? World Peacekeepers, two thousand sixteen, MNC Toy Center Limited, and it says designed by. Uh, MSC Toy Center Limited. And it's in different words there. And then it's, there's an address, Unit 813, I guess, 8th Floor, Peninsula Street, oh, Peninsula Center, 67 Modi Road, Sim Sha Sui East, Kowloon, Hong Kong. There's a website, www.mnctoy.com.hk, 1979. There's the U.S. patent number. Ah, look. Yes, right there. Look. Three sad onions. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? That's a shout-out to Stuart Ashens Across the Pond. Distributed by Big Lots Stores Incorporated. Look, and it, it's not a sticker. It's actually printed on the box. It'd be cool if it said distributed by Walmart Stores Incorporated. That way I could go to Walmart and buy these year-round, but they don't. And that symbol right there, that means it's uh, vibrator certified, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Guangdong, China. And there's other styles available. There's a, like an Army Ranger. It's like a Navy SEAL with uh, flippers. There's a sniper, another sniper. Uh I don't know who that is, and probably another Navy SEAL. I think that's the Tunnel Hunter. Yeah, they didn't have much of a selection. Uh, they, uh, I think these get released in Christmas time. And then they stay on the shelves, whatever they don't buy. Okay, let's do a side review here. Um, how do we open this? Oh, yeah, cello tape. We're going to need the box cutter of freedom, folks. Yes, it's the box cutter of freedom. Setting toys free. Okay. Uh, there's a bit of cello tape right here. We cut that. And uh, pull that up. It's like a cereal box. Pull the figure out of the package. There's no instructions inside. And it's got these little tie things back there. So, instead of just snipping and snipping, I like to undo them. Because I can reuse these things for something else. Alright. Undo this one. Undo this one. Okay. Pull that out. I think that probably holds the shoulders. Maybe this is for the waist here. 
There you go. Undo that. Undo this. I'm a big fan of the power team. I uh, I used to send some to my brother over in California when they had like the Generation 3 body, which is like the Action Man style body. He didn't like him. He hated him. Thought they were crap generic figures. But these were way better than the Formative International. That company went under. They had a contract with Walmart. And they, they made they made some figures towards the end that looked pretty good, but they didn't have any, they, you know, they would they would use inferior plastic and they would break. And now they're worth quite a bit of money, some of those. I have a box full of them somewhere in the back. All right, pull this out, pull that out, take this off his waist, pull that out here. He's got a rubber band holding the gun to his thing there, to his hand. We don't need that. Pull the gun out. It's a very nice rifle, by the way. Look at that thing. Sniper rifle for the desert. Okay, very good rubber band. We'll use that for something else. We figure, well, it's not going to lift up yet. There's a twisty thing here on the bottom. Desert Sniper. All right. Now, now he lifts out. There you go. Now, that's an action figure there. None of this pre-molded uh, plastic stuff. This is actual fabric, see? Fabric. Hello, Hasbro. You can do that. Bastards. They don't want to. The current line of thinking is a G.I. Joe won't sell. They're going to say, did you buy the last time we released those uh, those Joes at the store? Anybody buy them? No. They didn't. I did. But, hold on. I'm going to cut these open here. This is his vest. I mean, but, I mean, if they put something else, stuff like Hot Toys puts out, you know, they could, they could do it. Or, do a G.I. Joe line like the Halos line from, from uh, Mattel, which is basically Titan Heroes with joints, and they'd be onto something. All right, hold on. Give you a little bit of trouble. There. Okay, we got the vest. Look, it even has a piece of plastic inserted inside. How weird. Keep it round. It's a, it's a, I thought it was Cantina's binoculars. Look. And let's get his cap out. You know, for 13 bucks, it could. Hasbro could make a figure like this. I mean, they have the names of the Joes. They could make uh, General Hawk. They could make Grunt, Flash, Zap. Make some of the originals from the 80s. Don't pull Duke out till later. Because they always, you know, they're going to do, oh, let's make a bunch of ninjas and all this bullshit. You know, make, make Snake Eyes the commando, not the ninja. And sculpt them like they did in the 80s, more military, and they would sell. Just make another, make some more seasons of the cartoon originally. Okay, well, they're down there. Okay. Now, this dude has over 30 articulated points. Okay, let's see. Uh, swivel here at the bicep, double joints. He can pick his nose. Okay. Double jointed knees. Swivel at the thighs. Inside. Uh, 
Uh, looks like metal snaps. Very nice. Shirts tucked in. Look at this. Dog tags made to scale. I'll leave them on there. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Let's put them to the front. When they first started making these, the dog tags were huge. They were, they were Hall of Fame size. These are actually the scale. Pretty nice. Okay. Got that on there. Okay. Now, see this vest? It's got a piece of clear plastic inside. That's the... Save that for, for your lab work. Okay. It's for your specimen collection. All right. Now this... Uh, we're going to have to undo it from the front, I guess. In here. Maybe? Yeah. Right there. I've got little, uh, hold on, let's see if I can pull it out. All right, let me take my glasses off so I can see better. <laughs> see better without them for up close stuff here. Okay, you see these little, uh, It's got kind of like a security tie. It's got like a little notch. It's like a wedge thing. Now look, it's stressing out the edge there. If I yank on it, wow. It's that tight to put on. I almost ripped it. Okay, hold on. Pulled up and then down. Done. It'll look cool once I get it on there. If I can get it on there. Should use tweezers. Maybe a little screwdriver? Let's see. Hold on. Hold your horse, slow your roll. One of these small ones. Okay. Look, even have miniature channel locks. Look at this. Where did I get those? It's from the auxiliary gang. And don't ask me what that is. <laughs> I took them from the auxiliary gang. Okay, now. I'm going to push down on this. And it should open up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the secret. Look, push down on that. Put your nail there. Ta-da! Yep. You got the tools. You got the tent. It's minute time. Okay, hold on. Undo the belt. Let's see if it's going to go about there. Yeah, leave the belt on. Okay, put the belt back. This belt actually snaps shut. Look. It is rubberized, like a rubberized vinyl material. Pretty good. Okay, now, arms back like this. See? Arms back. Open the vest up. Push it on there. Okay, arms back down. And then... Just repeat in the opposite direction. Yep, 
screwdriver is going to help here. Okay, got that in. Okay, hold on. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, see? You put the screwdriver right here. And then push it in. Grab the size and push it in. Now pull it, and then pull that back. And it locks in place. See? Now it's locked in place. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So we got him set. All right. Pull this back. Now, these binoculars have a rubber band on them. No, braided elastic. Ah, yes, good old braided elastic. Slip those over his head. Like this. Just like that. And then, put on his cap. If the head fits on there. Pretty tight fit. From the hairstyle. Maybe backwards better. Hmm. Molded hat. They should have made it out of material. It's okay. It's on there. All right. I'm going to stand them up. Man, these guys came a long way. I mean, they, in the beginning, the figures were crappy. But then they started making 118 scale figure vehicles. and Oh, man. They used to make all kinds of 12-inch vehicles during the 12-inch craze. and They've had longevity. This company... Uh, been around a long time, years, and I don't know. Maybe they had a falling out with Walmart. Maybe Walmart was too strict. They uh, demanded too much, too quick, or they just didn't like their rules. Who knows? I'm hoping Walmart would carry these. It'd be, it's a shame that they don't because. You know, there's no more 12-inch G.I. Joes in the stores. Kids can't play with 12-inch G.I. Joes. They got, you know, superhero toys, but they're not military. And military toys are always cool. Now, look, you can hold the gun pretty good. All right, let's see. Let's stand them up here. What a dynamic pose. So much articulation in there. The figure's very lightweight. It's like half the weight of a G.I. Joe. A 12-inch. And he looks cool. All right, let me move this metal gun out of the way. Screwdriver out of the way. Mouse out of the way. Put him right in front of a Joe. Oh, and he's got some, I don't know if you can see that, there's some paint apps here on the, on the boots. It's like he, he went through some mud in the desert. All right, hold on. Forgot to cover that screen for, for Sage Forsaken. Shout out to Sage Forsaken. Look, I got some comics here from Wonder Woman Day. I'll put that in there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> But that 
And then I got another one here, another Wonder Woman. I'll put that right there. There you go. Block out some of that. I'll move the camera up. There you go. There you go. All right. Now that's the Desert Sniper from MNC Toy Center. World Peacekeepers. Or they used to be known as the Power Team Elite originally. Now they're just World Peacekeepers. But they're cool, man. I mean, look. I, I know there used to be a Yahoo group of these guys, of the, of the fans. I don't know. They probably moved to Facebook by now. Because everything's on Facebook. And uh, they would sculpt the, the faces from the people in the group. People that would submit stuff. Submit photos and stuff. So I don't know if they still do that. Because, I mean, you see some random faces coming out on these guys. And so far, all I know is that... Uh, look, it's got a little tripod down there. Hold on. Let me take the gun out of his hand. All right, give me the gun. Give me the gun. I'll give him an AK-47. Right. All right. I like them. They're cool. They need to make more. Now, this tripod... Looks kind of bent. They put the rubber band too tight. Uh, as you can see right there, there's a rubber band right there. And it's kind of bending the toy out. Now, what I'm going to do is pry it off. Too much pressure. I mean, what the hell? They don't need that much pressure. All right, got it off. Now, yeah, it is pretty. It got deformed from the rubber band. So much pressure. Look, now I'm off camera. You see that? It looks straight. Squeeze it. It's crooked. It needs to be straightened out. But I don't think it's coming off. See that? I think uh, if you're in China, you could probably visit MSC Toy Center. And they'll sell you some weapons and stuff there. Look, even the... Oh, the ammo, the ammo, <laughs> the ammo clip comes out also. Huh. Might have to super glue that. Don't like stuff getting lost. You see, they went through a lot of trouble to put all those rubber bands on it. They could have just put a drop of super glue. But like I said, a lot of a lot of collectors want authenticity. Look, you can pull the stock out. This comes out. There's probably a bullet there at the end. Yep, there's a bullet. Look, but it's not painted. Um the scope not sure about the scope but it looks pretty cool anyway 24 minutes in let's, let's show you the dynamic poses you could put them in like that Ta da hey, look at that, he can kneel down all the way. See? GI Joe can't do that. Well some of the are super articulated Joes could, but they're not as well built as these. That's what all they have to do is, look, tell MNC Toy Center, make us some of your bodies, make the official G.I. Joe head fit them, and just release them with uh, some new gear. And it says G.I. Joe. And it could do a collaboration. 
Oh, uh, personal note, you can actually go to Amazon.com United Kingdom, the one in, in England, and right now you can get the Action Man. Uh, I think it's the Marine and the Soldier, the Sailor, and the Pilot. But the the Marine's the coolest one, and it it's in a like a glass box. It looks like a like a it looks like the TARDIS from <laughs> from Doctor Who. It's a it's a rectangular package. It's clear windows, and it's a hybrid figure. It's 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 the original body of Action Man. I don't know how they 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 reverse engineered the molds, but he's got the gripping hands from the seventies, and he's got a lot of cool gear. And they're going for like, I don't know how many British pounds, but I I, I think I calculated to like seventy four American dollars available right now as we speak, but only for Amazon UK. Okay, so. There you go. That's the sniper. There you go. I'll put his gun next to him. Like this. Oh, like that. All right. Uh, 27 minutes in. Thumbnail. That's the Power Team Elite World Peacekeepers Desert Sniper. I'll do more reviews like this later on. Depends how this one goes. And uh, I hope whatever you guys are doing, I hope you're doing okay. I send you all my love. Tons of positive energy. Positive everything. And I hope you have good luck in all your endeavors, no matter what you're doing. No matter what part of the world you're in. This is Armando signing out. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, and go to your big lot stores and see if you have you can find these guys because they're pretty cool.